Notice how there are different colors on the soap bubbles? How is this possible when the soap solution itself has no color? Well, the answer lies in physics, and the phenomenon behind why we observe these colors is known as thin film interference. To understand this, let's first look at the soap bubbles themselves. The soap bubble is made up of a thin film of soapy water with air trapped inside. Now let's zoom in on this and investigate the behavior of light. White light is made up of different colors of different wavelengths. When light encounters a soap bubble, some of the light waves are reflected off the outer surface of the bubble, while others are refracted, enter the inside of the soap bubble, and are reflected off the inner surface. These reflected waves then interact with each other, resulting in what is known as interference. Interference occurs when two or more waves combine to form a resultant wave. In this case, the two waves that interact are the ones reflected off of the outer and inner surfaces of the bubble wall. These waves interfere either constructively or destructively, which depends on their relative phases, which is the position of a point in time of a wave cycle. Constructive interference occurs when the peaks of one wave align with the peaks of the other wave, or the troughs align with the troughs. When this happens, the amplitudes of the waves add up, resulting in a wave with a larger amplitude. This reinforcement leads to the appearance of bright and vibrant colors, so if the blue color constructively interferes, we will see a blue color bubble film. On the other hand, destructive interference occurs when the peaks of one wave aligns with the troughs of the other, or vice versa. The amplitudes of the waves will cancel out, meaning we will not see that color in that section of the soap bubble. But if all light on the bubble is from the same source, shouldn't the waves always interfere the same way? Why do we see different colors across the same soap bubble? The answer to this question lies in the fact that the thickness of the soap film itself varies in a bubble. This changes the path length traveled by the waves, and it is this difference that determines the phase relationship between the reflected waves and therefore whether constructive or destructive interference occurs. To further understand how the thickness of the film affects the colors observed, let's illuminate a soap bubble with pure red light. The dark bands indicate the thicknesses of the film where the red light waves destructively interfere and cancel out. The vividly red areas indicate where the soap bubble has a thickness that is an integer multiple of the wavelength of red, meaning that there will be constructive interference. When illuminated by blue light, the areas that are vibrant or dark change because the wavelength of blue is shorter than red. When a bubble is illuminated with red and blue light at the same time, we can see how different thicknesses reflect different colors differently. We can see both colors in the individually red and blue bands, the absence of both colors in the black bands, and the mix of the two colors in the magenta bands. Now, imagine it wasn't just red and blue light, but also orange, yellow, green, and violet, aka white light. Now you can see just how many combinations of colors can come from the different contributions of the six fundamental colors. For areas of the bubble that look almost silvery white, the film is so thin that all wavelengths of light are reflected almost equally. The next question is, how do the colors of soap bubbles keep changing as it floats through the air? The reason behind this is that other forces acting on it, such as from the wind, cause it to be gradually thinner in some areas and thicker in others. Therefore, the thin film interference is always varying, causing the ever-shifting colors we see in soap bubbles. The same principle of interference is also the reason behind why peacock feathers appear to change color as you walk past them, and why cars seem to have color-changing paint when viewed from certain angles. If you just keep your eyes open, you'll easily notice the presence of physics in our daily life. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like, and I hope to see you in the next one.